That tower on the strip popped open like a can and let somebody walk right in. Mark my words, some evil's afoot. Krieger's the officer here, not me. The final say on the plan is up to him. What are you talking to me for? Talk to Krieger. Glad to see you made it here, all right. So, who are we going up against? Marino, Johnson, Henry and I will be the boots on the ground. Whitman will stay with the vertebird. This was a minor refueling station for vertebrates. It seemed an appropriate place to stash our equipment if we ever needed it. I'm surprised this place hasn't fallen apart. When I put it into standby mode, I expected to return to it within a few years, not decades. Then that's the plan. We're gonna have a problem with Moreno, though. He won't like that we're helping the NCR. You'll have to talk to him. Day one, we didn't. It's as simple as that. The rest of us moved on while Moreno didn't. Still, I'm not convinced Moreno hates the NCR as much as he thinks he does. You still might be able to talk him out of leaving. He won't turn on us, but he's a good shot, and I'd hate to do this without him. I stopped being Moreno's officer a long time ago. Everyone here respects me, but they don't need to follow my orders. Not anymore. You've got only one chance at this. I know Moreno. Once he's made up his mind about something, there's no changing it. Someone finally put down that sick motor rocket. I didn't come all the way out here just so we could save the fucking NCR. I'm out. Getting my gear. What does it look like? What, you think I'm going to leave this here for someone like you? I don't think so. I can't believe you've actually talked me into this. <sighs> Fine, I'm in. But don't expect me to hold my fire if any NCR troops get in the way. Thanks for doing this. Getting them all back together again. I'll be honest, when Moreno started going off, I didn't think we'd all be walking out of there in one piece. I still don't know how this is all going to shake out in the end, but at least the Enclave can atone a bit for all the damage it's done. I've been wondering about Daisy and the others for so long, I still haven't figured out what I should do. I mean, I'm not like them. I was born at Navarro, and my father served with them, but I wasn't really part of the Enclave. It seems presumptuous of me to think I could join the fight, even if this is a cause worth fighting for. Because I know when fighting breaks out of the dam, all hell is going to break loose in Freeside. They're going to need every doctor they can get. I honestly didn't expect you to say that. When I talked to you about Daisy and the others, you seemed to put a lot of value in loyalty to the past. What's changed since then? True enough, I suppose. Getting them back together must be worth more than me spraying plasma all over the dam. Back to Freeside it is. I need to make a stop before I settle in. I'll be back in a while. Thanks again for your help. It means a lot to me. Moreno's a stubborn son of a bitch, but he's also tougher than any of us. I'm glad you were able to talk him into staying. Since Whitman will be staying with the Vertibird, she's offered to give her old suit of power armor to you. You'll need special training to use it properly, so talk to her as soon as you get the chance. The training might take several hours, so keep that in mind. Usually I don't talk to nobody but robots. 
I appreciate you keeping Orion in the group. Since I won't be needing my armor, makes the cockpit a bit cramped, you should take it. It'll take a few hours to show you how to use it properly, so let's get started. But lately some of them been two-faced. I'd love to see the look on the, the NCR's, NCR's the best face. Bet for the race. I can't believe I'm going to land. The NCR's got its share of warts. We'll be ready. I'd rather Don't have work. them around. Like I said, I needed to go do something. This is it. It belonged to my father. I thought I might wear it at Hoover Dam, but after you talked me out of it, I didn't see the point in hanging on to it any longer. I'm here because of you, so I figure you're the one most deserving of it. It should protect you from everything short of a plasma caster. And if you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. It's the least I could do. All I ask is that you put it to good use. This place has lived in the shadow of Caesar for long enough. I may not be the one to help stop him here, but you are. Fortis fortuna adiuat. Good luck and goodbye. Hi there. Looking to spend some caps? Greetings, my friend. I hope I can be of some assistance to you. I suppose it was only a matter of time. I wonder if, given the NCR's current situation, they would consider a truce of sorts. We've given up our claim to Helios, and we don't have any interest in claiming Hoover Dam, so our ambitions are not at cross purposes. Perhaps it's time for a new strategy. Go to the NCR commander and tell her the Brotherhood is willing to put aside our enmity for the time being. Further, tell her that we are willing to send troops to aid in their coming defense of the dam. My guess is they're in no position to refuse. Greetings, my friend.
Enemies better. What can I do for you, boss? Question. What can I do for you, boss? Hey! Is it time? Has the Brotherhood been found? And you believed them? Do you have any idea how long we've been fighting those bastards? Ugh, Crocker will have a field day with this. He'll want to establish diplomatic relations with them for Pete's sake. But we've got more important matters to attend to. The President is due to arrive soon, and we're sure the Legion won't waste such an opportunity. I want you to assist the security detail we've prepared for the President. His safety is critical to maintaining the men's fighting spirit. Go up to the visitor center and speak to Ranger Grant. He's in charge of security during the president's visit. Dismissed. Is the president safe? This is no time for questions. Get back topside and protect the president. I sure hope I get to meet President Campbell. glad you're here to help us out. This is a delicate matter, and we need all the help we can get from people we can trust. We've got a lot to do to prepare for the President's visit, and not much time. Once we start, we'll be on a strict timetable. Are you ready? Ask your questions, but keep it short. We trust you, so you're free to have your weapons. Just don't do anything too crazy, and we'll back you up. Security detail consists of rangers stationed here at the dam. Some will keep an eye on the crowd while others will watch the perimeter. 
Snipers and sharpshooters have been assigned to key locations, and we also have a special canine unit sniffing out members of the crowd. I've also locked down access to critical locations, such as the landing platform on the visitor center. All right, I'll give you full access. I have a full itinerary here. Here you go. The Legion will definitely try something. We don't have any solid leads yet. I'd almost expect something direct from them. But given the circumstances, there's a possibility of something more subtle, like sabotage. But since we don't have anything solid, we'll just have to keep our eyes out for anything out of the ordinary. Someone like you. I'm just glad to have you on board. Do whatever you can. Security sweeps, talk to people, keep an eye out. There's nothing else, then let's get moving. Good. The president doesn't arrive until tomorrow. Get some rest. I'll brief you in the morning. Glad you could join us. Most of my men are already on duty, and the crowd has already started gathering outside. We've got a busy day ahead of us. The plan is to get through today without the shit hitting the fan. So I'll be overseeing the security team personally, and keeping in constant contact with people over the radio. It's a good bet that the Legion is gonna try something today, so we have to be prepared for anything. We'll do whatever it takes to get the President through this visit in one piece. If there's nothing else, then let's get moving. President Kimball is arriving shortly. If you want to do any last-minute security sweeps or take a look around for anything suspicious, do it now. Once you're ready, meet me outside on the observation deck. But don't take too long. Patrolling the Mojave. Hey, you haven't seen my friend around here, have you? His name is Ben, and he's an engineer. We were supposed to meet up so we can watch the president's speech together, but he hasn't shown up yet. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just keep waiting. Sorry to bother you. Almost makes you wish for a nuclear war. Smart move for the kings to back down.
Hey. If I was the assassin, I'd be up on that ridge. Or if I didn't care about escaping, maybe that near tower. Or the landing pad behind us. I could have been there to see some of You're clear to go on through. Not right now, I'm busy. I don't have time to talk right now. Have you finished your security sweep? Looks like that's his vertebrate coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some security procedures to oversee. Looks like he booted the Legion out of Nelson. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank, thank you for coming out here today for this very special occasion. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the president of the new California Republic, Aaron Kimball. Thank you, my fellow Californians. Who have come so far to have the call the service put forth by the Republic. It is for you that I have come here. And it is because of you that I am able to do so. We enjoy our privileges because you take the greatest of risks and are prepared to make the most noble sacrifices. It is because of men and women like Private First Class, Jeremy Watson, that Nevada and the new California Republic remain free and secure. Born in a tin shack on the outskirts of one pine, Jeremy Watson never had any easy. His father was a caravan guard on the short route, and his mother, like many Californians, braved the ruins of the old world What are you doing as a prospector. Settle down. No one uses the radio until I know what's going on. Oh, shit. Really? We should go take a look. Uh, I think I should check it out first before radioing it in. Fuck it. You're more trouble than you're worth. They saw the radio attack. As our government war, like our prime minister of the they endured. But the time came when they could no longer show the burden alone. Ladies and gentlemen, quit goofing off and clear the channel. I'll be damned if the president dies on my watch because you were screwing around. Southern Nevada against Caesar's Legion, 
and the tyranny of his regime. There are some back home who ask me, but who are we protecting? What does this matter to us? Sometimes we forget that the light of our society shines beyond our borders. Sometimes we take those privileges for granted that our forebears fought so hard to achieve. We must always remember that wherever Californians stand, we carry our principles with us. Equal respect, representation, and protection under the laws of a just republic. This is the same fire that burned in the heart of the old world that preceded us. We are the heirs of that civilization, torturers eastward of the Pacific, into the darkness of this wasted land. When the Republic called on the men and women of California to carry that fire across the Mojave, Jeremy Watson answered, you answered. Together you carried the weight. And when we have seen Watson's platoon came under attack at Forlorn Hope, he took the greatest risk. Not only for his fellow Californians, but for California itself. He was prepared to make the most noble of sacrifices to defend the principles of our republic, even here, on the vast soil. His actions are a meaning to all of us who stand here today in tribute to his valor. Private First Class Jeremy Watson, on behalf of the Senate and people of the new California Republic, it is my honor to present you with the Star of Sierra Madre. Not far from this spot, a monument stands as a tribute to the sacrifice made by those who came before us. The men and women who fulfilled the promise we made to the desert rangers. Its back is inscribed with the names of the troopers and rangers who carried the weight. And because they made the most noble sacrifices, it did not break us. Four years ago, we held this dam. Four years ago, we carried the weight. Four years ago, we drew a line through the Mojave as clear as the Colorado River. A line that Caesar cannot cross. Today, you stand here with our brothers and sisters to hold that line. Today, you honor all Californians by carrying that weight. Today, you are the waves of the Pacific, pushing ever eastward. You are the sequoias rising from the Sierra Nevadas, defiant and enduring. You are the great western light of California, torchbearers in the darkness, living reminders of all that is best in our republic. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay. that's it for time. What the hell are you waiting for? I think I want to get shot at the
Good job today. You got the president out safe and sound. And I couldn't have done it without you. You have my thanks. Still no luck finding my friend. Is the president safe? Good. His death could have had a major impact on morale. This whole affair was ill-advised from the start, and I, for one, am glad it's over. While you were out, General Oliver arrived and briefed all senior officers regarding a change in our strategy. I'm not at liberty to divulge what was said, but I've been instructed to send you to him immediately. He set up his camp in the office area at the south end of this power plant. Dismissed. Well, you took your sweet ass time coming here. Let's get down to brass tacks. We need to get this thing moving if we want to keep the element a surprise. You've done some great work for us up to this point, and we're hoping to use your unique abilities to aid us once again. Thanks to the task my subordinates have delegated to you, the NCR now has a unique opportunity. We now have a chance to take the fight to those bastards on their home turf. I'm in the beginning stages of planning out an assault on the fort. I've made calls to our allies, and they're on their way to our position. Once our forces are in place and garrison here, we'll begin our assault. Sir, I don't know what happened. A bunch of Legionnaires just stormed into the power station. Into the power station? How is that possible? I don't know, sir. There was some talk of them entering through the clog intake tunnels, but I don't have any confirmation. On my way up here, there was some chatter about their commander, the Legate, I think he's called, set up at some kind of base on the Eastern Bank. Okay, listen here. Unless we can get some additional support, I'm gonna need you to help me resolve this situation. You need to make your way to this camp they have on the Eastern Bank and take out the Legate. That should hamstring this attack. Like I said earlier, we have some supplemental forces on the way, but this wasn't the situation I was expecting so I can only offer what is on hand. Thanks for your support. I'll make sure the NCR emergency radio is up and running. Go kill those bastards. Good gracious. The Legion is using the intake tunnels to storm their way into the dam. Someone has to stop them. Hmm. I think that you should be able to divert the flow of the water into the generator turbines. That would grind them up like a hamburger. The computer to activate it is just ahead, but you may need to go outside to activate the manual override. That system hasn't been used in a while. Good luck. <laughs> I'm gonna find a place to not get shot.
All mine. You like that? Let's get going. 